It's about to get funky. The Dial Up Chronicles. Hey guys, welcome to the Dial Up Chronicles. We're going to be doing some surfing the web with Dial Up today, um, like we've done before, and we're just going to log on to our Juno internet here. You know, is one of the full uh, few ways you can actually legitimately dial into the internet. There are still places where the only way you can get internet is through dial-up. So at least nationally, Juno and Net Zero and AOL actually one of the few ways you can actually dial into the internet. We're going to connect here, and here we go. Our Juno bar is coming up, and it should begin connecting, hopefully. There we go. Why don't we listen in? phone here. Whoops. Dropped it. It's got it on speaker. It's dialing in. It says dialing on the computer. And here to be connected. Okay, it's it's doing it again. Logging on to Juno. Oh, well, no, it should be good. You can see my phone says line in use. Alrighty. Gonna wait and Internet Explorer and the Juno taskbar should come up. So uh, anybody can sign up for Juno dial up internet for free. You get 10 hours of free dial up a, a month, I believe or something and anybody can get it even if you don't have a way to get dial-up internet like if you don't have a home telephone or you can still you still get a free um, still get a free email and you get to download their software for free so I would just encourage everybody to do it just for fun here we go myjuno.com is coming up on Internet Explorer That should take a minute, but it should come up. Waiting, We're waiting. And guys, I'll get right back to you. All right, guys, it's coming up. Just came up, and there you go. Juno.com, we've got our home page. It's gonna tell me it's this is just my little home page. So that's going to continue loading, but we're going to go ahead and surf the web. Now that we're on dial up, you can see uh, I've got Juno internet access here. And I don't have any other way to connect to the internet except through Ethernet. I turned off the wireless, so it just says dial up and VPN. It says Juno connected. Got a cute little picture of a phone there. So let's go to Wibby. There it goes. Wasn't too bad. Let's go ahead and blow this up. And we're just gonna hit surprise me today. Let's see what we get. You asked for it, dandare.org. Waiting for Wibby.me. This page can't be on display. Andare.org. Oh man, that's sad. All right, well let's go back to Wibby. There we go. That came back up pretty quick. Good deal. Surprise me. Heptune.com. 
that came up. That's coming up quick. Cool. Microscop microscopic quit critters of Guam. Okay. By Brennan Lorenz. This page is devoted to the freshwater microfauna of Guam. We have the best microorganisms. Okay. That's interesting. Let's try, uh, we're gonna get out of this. Let's get out of Internet Explorer. And I don't know why Safari was working great last time I, I tried dial-up. And now Wibby.me will come up on Safari. So I don't get it, so we're gonna go to Chrome. And we didn't try Wibby.me on Chrome last time. I did my Chrome versus Safari video. So we're gonna try and see if if Chrome will work with Wibby.me. Let's give that a shot. It's coming up. And part of the reason everything is going so slow is this this computer itself. This computer is slow. So it's hard to tell if, if we're having an issue with the dial-up, the dial-up slow, or if it's just the computer. Come on. Come on, Google Chrome. Don't let us down. All right, there we go. Okay, let's hit surprise me. Let's see how Google Chrome works with Wibby. You asked for it? Revelation13.net Astrology, prophecies, and predictions of the future from 2022 to 2030. Notre Dame's the Book of Revelation and Bible Prophecy, the King James Version English Bible Code, New Age Geography, Psychokinesis, Mind Control of Clouds and Winds. Ugh, this is insane. What? Okay. Here's a picture coming up of, of Ukraine flag. Russian Putin is the Antichrist, Revelation 13. All right. This looks nuts. Um, <laughs> and some wild stuff here. And here's a picture, it's slowly loading. Got a lot of text coming up here. Okay guys, I'm back. For some reason, Wibby does not want to work on Safari. Um, it only wants to work on Internet Explorer and the Internet Explorer is just crummy. So we're just, we're gonna make do with what we have today. And we're just gonna go to toastytech.com because we know that works with dial-up. And uh, you can see I'm on dial up here still. And I thought this was a website I wanted to explore more anyway. So I thought let's go to the graphical user interface and let's just, let's play around here. Let's click on Windows. That looks fun. Okay. And the other pages, I guess, came up so quickly because I'd already clicked on them. What is this? Okay. Windows 1983 pre-version 1.0 demo. Okay. Well, this looks kind of interesting. Um, the following is an article that appeared December 1983 issue of Byte Magazine. When I first created the site, there was very little information about early versions of Windows on the web and no references to this article. It was almost as if there was some conspiracy to hide the truth about the age of Windows. Okay. All right, so this is something I think that would be fun to read. Okay, something's going on. I'm getting frozen up here. Oh no. Okay. Weird. The desktop metaphor and the mouse present attractive com 
concepts. But Apple's Lisa's RBM's PC XT running Visa on exceeds the budget of the average personal computer. Okay, so just a lot of information. Got a few pictures here running Microsoft Windows. Photos 1 through 13 show a sequence of operation of Microsoft Windows. Okay. Let's go to the next page. So this is a big article, I guess. Here we go. So this is working pretty good because it's an older website. I just wish Libby would work because that that gives me access to websites that I know are going to work better with dialogue. So I don't know what's going on there. Here come the pages of Microsoft Windows from 1983. Photo 7, Multiplans window has been enlarged to show more cells and more data. This is, this would be interesting just to, you know, take your time and look at it and read like everything about it. We're not going to do that, but we'll just kind of briefly look at it. Photo 11 shows a sample pop-up menu for the charting program. That looks neat. Let's go to the last page here. Photo 13 shows the graph displayed in accordance with the instructions entered with a 4x4 pixel pen size and a gray shading. The graphics capabilities of Microsoft Windows owe much to the device independent graphics systems described by John Butler in the text box. All right, conclusions about Microsoft Windows. Byte Mac Magazine also displayed throughout various images of IBM PC compatible computers, including an Apple II with a PC emulator card running Microsoft Windows. Obviously, this was meant to imply and demonstrate that Windows, when released, would run on a variety of different hardware. Okay. Cool. Let's go back to where we were. Let's go back to Windows. Windows 1983 Condep demo, Windows 1984 pre release, Windows. Let's go, let's skip ahead, let's go to Windows Premiere Edition. It's halfway through the year 1985. After many delays, the Windows software project you were working on still isn't quite done yet. Promises were made for a midsummer release. So what do you do? You slap Premiere Edition over the words beta release, put on some pretty good, pretty looking introduction quality floppy disk and pass it out to developers. Hmm, okay. Things were crazy enough someone even create a fake version. Okay, Microsoft Premiere Edition. If you want to grab a copy, you can get it over at winworldpc.com. Hmm. MS-DOS Executive Premier Edition. Okay. From a user interface standpoint, it really isn't much different from Windows 1.01, but seems to share more in common with the 1985 beta. Calculator, card file, control panel, that's interesting. The May 1985 beta only has a small placeholder. Card calendar application, Premier Edition is the full blown but not quite finished calendar, whatever. There's paint, wind mine, look at that, oh, that's fun. In mind for Windows 1.x slash 2.x. Okay. 
Anastas executive. Cool, let's go back to the gallery. Let's click on, let's click on one more today. So let's go to Windows and, hmm, look at all these different windows. Um, let's do 3.0. Microsoft Windows 3.0 screenshots. See, this is coming up quick because it's an older website. And the thing about Wibby.me is, I really like it because it um, it just it brings me the websites that will work better with dial-up. Whereas if I use Bing or Google, it's just not gonna. Okay, this is what I remember. This was the first kind of Windows I used. Windows 3.0 or 3.1. That's cool. To me, that's Windows. That's what Windows is and Windows 95. All these newer ones, I mean, they're almost just the same. Just a little bit updated. Paintbrush. Another new application that included was with Windows 3.0 is Windows Paintbrush, a replacement for the old Microsoft Paint program in 1X and 2X. The program actually handles color and sports, P EMP and PC graphics. Has some games, Solitaire, Reversi, Program Manager. Cool. Let's do um. Let's do some. Let's just play around here. Let's try this. Let's go to old version oldversion.com or yeah, is it .com or .org let's see oh, old version whoops I think it's oldversion.com Try downloading something with dial up. It's trying, it's a little hard out. Come on. You can see the shade of blue is growing slowly here. So it is working just. Slow, slow, slow. Here we go. All right. Which old version are you looking for? Okay, cool, it's working. Scroll down here. Let's try to get a version of Netscape because the version I've got, I did this before I thought and it's just not working. Let's see. Internet, Mozilla, Firefox, Internet Explorer. We got it, Netscape, there it is, Netscape. Look at all these old internet deals, okay. Old version slash Netscape. goes. Oh guys, look at that blue, it's moving quick. God, look, it's amazing. Sometimes, sometimes it's really bad. <laughs> Can't imagine if this is all I had to use the internet with. That would be kind of a bummer today. <laughs> it's really just just being stupid it's just for nostalgia purposes here we go pick a software title to downgrade the version you love all right oh, is this like the newest version yeah escape 9.0 see i want like an 
older one. Let's try Netscape Point 3. Let's just click on it, whatever. Let's just see what happens. I need the right browser. Maybe there's some older, another older search engine we can use. No. Okay. Here it is. So let's see. All right, we're gonna dial. We're gonna download, huh? Download now. We're gonna download it on dial. -up. Four more minutes for me? What? It's not that bad. It's working. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Three point. It's constantly changing, but we're looking at an average of three kilobytes per second. It keeps going down, though. Oh, there it goes. It just depends what part of the file it are. Look at this. 112 kilobytes of 5.6 megabytes what okay so we're averaging about three kilobytes per second okay so what I should do is I should just film this whole thing and then do like a speed up I wonder how I can do that see I'm just figuring this stuff out myself I don't really know much of anything. We got 234 kilobytes. Okay, this is success. We're doing it on dial-up, guys. Netscape 3.04. This would be so cool if this works. You know, it's gotta get it to the end though. 30 minutes. Looks like it's gonna take 30 minutes. Let me see. Guys, I'm gonna come back to you. Hey guys, so I finally did figure out how to do a time lapse. Um, it's like one of the simplest things to do and I've just never done it before. So I'm doing a time lapse right now and um, it did end up taking about 15 minutes to download this, which wasn't too bad. Unfortunately, it stopped halfway through. Um, you're going to see that it stops about halfway through and it just didn't work because this version's too old. I need to download a newer version for this computer. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Come check us out again at the Dial-Up Chronicles.